so finding a mom and pop tapas place in the center of Barcelona that's like trying to find a sober person in the Superdome after the Saints win. It's a needle in a haystack. You're gonna waste your whole vacation looking for it. This is James Whalen living in Barcelona. We're talking tapas bars. We're talking eating times. We're talking escape the center. We're here on Manjuic Rock uh, and I asked all of my local friends where they go when they, when they go out to eat. They sent me their answers. I've posted them below in the notes section. And guess what? None of them, none of them are in the center of Barcelona. I call the center of Barcelona, uh, Barcelona Disney. I don't know anybody who lives there. I don't know anybody who goes there regularly. When the terrorist attacks happened last year, very few local people were injured because nobody from Barcelona goes there regularly. Uh, there's pretty much not anything there other than the historic buildings that isn't specifically set up for tourists to see it. All right, uh, my recommendations, Barceloneta. Barceloneta sounds like the name Barcelona, but it's Barceloneta is on the beach near the center. But you need to go to the interior back of the neighborhood. That's where the locals are, in the, in the heart of the neighborhood. Stay off the main strip, stay off the beach. Uh, Barceloneta. The other one is a, is a street called Calle Parlament. That's Parliament, Calle Parlament. It's between the center and Manjuic, where I am right now. Uh, you'll find a ton of local places full of local people. There's a lot of movement, a lot of energy. It's, tr it's tree-lined, it has a bicycle lane on it. For me, it's the most authentic Barcelona near the center that I know of. It's also near my neighborhood, Cachao. Uh, a couple of other recommendations. Avoid places that have pictures of food. Bam! Fast food places are good for bathrooms. And then the final one is keep in mind the local eating schedule. Uh, they eat lunch between 2 and 4. Uh, there are 46 million people in Spain and every single one of them eats at that time. I know I asked. Seriously, they're pretty hardcore about their schedule, eating, scheduled eating times. I call it the Iron Kitchen. They eat dinner after 8 or 9. If you get hungry between 4 and 8 and you ask for food, they're going to call the cops on you. Seriously, if you get hungry between 4 and 8, try the grocery store. You'll probably find some local people in there. Uh, this is James Whalen living in Barcelona. We're giving you specific solutions, quirky fun. If you eat well, you live well, and you can start today. Hasta luego, nos vemos.